Hi guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we hope, hope you've been keeping well in lockdown. Uh, it's been a bit crazy at the moment, but... Yeah, look, um, no haircut. <laughs> I'm absolute mess and it won't do anything. Hold that bit down. Right, yes, uh, this isn't really a lot to do with the bus, apart from the work is for the bus. Uh, sorry it's been so long again, it's nearly six months since our last video. We are going to try and build it up now. Obviously the coach has been in a, the storage yard, which you've already seen, and we haven't been able to get into there. We haven't been able to get into the workshop at Matt's place because he's been busy over the weekends. And now we're in lockdown, so um, that's even worse. Hence why we've brought it back here. Please watch the video all the way to the end then, because we have got what we think is a big reveal at the end of the video. Well, I'm excited. Oh, I'm right. excited, yeah, it's quite good. Yeah, you're more excited. <laughs> I am, yeah. Um, and also, if you do like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, any constructive criticism or feedback is welcome. Um, yes, we say whether you like board. us or not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, sub subscribing. Um, don't be like my dad who thought if you subscribe to anything it means you're going to pay for it. Uh, YouTube is completely free to make an account. You can subscribe to all the channels that you like and it just means if you tick that bell uh, that you will get notified next time we put a video up. And we promise we're going to put more videos up. But we don't also. do loads so you won't get spammed. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with the video. So in order to bring the coach back, we had to get rid of this big tree, um, so Steve and Kev started chopping. There you go Ian, just to prove you can take it down with a chainsaw. So Ian from Essingham Zoo used to be a forestry contractor. Um, and thought it was funny that Steve was going to take the tree down with a hand chain so Steve decided to prove it and he soon gave up with a little scratch on the tree and proved that Ian was in fact correct. So next they decided to borrow a chainsaw. I think Kev was a bit chuffed with himself. All was going well until they flooded the chainsaw. So they decided to use the little hand chainsaw again and Steve had a go and he took a branch off. And then Kev wanted to go and he took another branch off. And another. And another. Until... Good. Clever. I'm knackered out. Just as we were about to give up and get a cup of tea, Gemma came out. So I thought, let's have some fun. You stand on the log? Yeah. yeah. Wait for it. Cue music. something else. Contenders ready. <laughs> Three, two, one.
Okay, enough of that. Back to work. Nothing much happened on day two. We just got rid of more hedges and finally cut down the uh, last front tree. Oh, and we had our first major injury. I've got to go see Nurse Gemma. I've got a splinter. Break. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Josh from next door lent them the bigger chainsaw so the tree could get down quicker. fire and um, Josh from next door helped. He was actually supposed to be building his own fish pond but obviously chopping wood was far more interesting. And here's another one for you help and safety people. And here's Mr. Robin who kept an eye on them for me while they were working. Hi guys. So Hi. It's actually a really nice day today. So I've managed to drag Steve away from the bus. I've uh, brought the dogs out on a really nice long walk. Kicking and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> he actually enjoys it once we get out of the house. It's just getting him like, yeah. out. That's the problem. He needs to get away because at the moment um, I need some more wood. I need wood. Look at the state of my hair in this, this lockdown. <laughs> We'd just like to say a really big thank you to um, 
Margaret from Braders, uh, Braders Land Drainage uh, actually sponsored us with all the hardcore. So um, Margaret sent a truck over so we could manage to get the front done because we're not earning much money at all at the moment. And also thank you to Neil from Direct Fencing who supplied us with the fencing for the front garden. Fencing stuff, yeah. Um, speaking of um, sponsorship, uh, we've had quite a few people uh, message us and ask us if we need any help with items or help with time. We have now set up uh, an Amazon list. It's online, we will put the link down there. Uh, we're not asking for anything at all, but if there is anyone out there that would like to help us because we're now struggling a little bit with uh, cash and buying things to carry on, if you want to go to the list, have a look through. There's some really expensive things there. That's for our benefit, um, but there's also plenty of little things. So if there's anything there you fancy, we don't mind a little bit of help. Uh, we've also set up a Patreon page. Uh, that a lot of people have actually asked us to do. There's loads on there, go check it out. The link's below again. And thank you very much if you do help. <laughs>
and then see if we can get some levels across the garden. I'm not helping him and the reason I'm not helping him is because he's being an absolute tango bravo and for the unedited version that's he's not funny and he knows he's not funny is that level that way that way is it plum or level uh, do you know what I'm gonna get the leveling stick the stick of the stick levelness. Of levelness. And the stick of levelness says. <laughs> Perfect. Can I just say it again? Perfect. going really well for them until they got to the last gravel board and the tree, the conifer that they cut down the day before, the stump of that was directly in the way. So they called it a day and decided to tackle the stump in the morning. So day seven, while well, we attacked the tree stump to try and get it out of the way, Gemma finished off laying the plastic sheet and covering with the rest of the hardcore. Going back to the awkward tree stump, we tried digging it out, we tried chainsawing it out, chipping and prizing it out, we even turned it into an archaeological dig, but to no avail. So we ended up beating the living daylights out of it. We couldn't believe on the final post it was perfectly plumb in both directions. The gravel board was perfectly level and when we checked the tops, 
it was perfectly level between the two posts. Never had we done that all day. Absolute level. <laughs> World's strongest man. <laughs> okay, the last bit of spreading and we're ready for the coach. Last bit of flattening out and then we get the final product. Best go get the coach. <laughs> We're going for the coach. Finally. It's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Just going down to the compound and hopefully the code hasn't changed, otherwise I'm stuffed. And hopefully nobody's pinched the diesel out the coach, otherwise we're a little bit stuffed and hopefully the battery is not dead actually the battery is dead I know that's gonna be dead There's no way that's not gonna be dead so we'll go and borrow the jump starter thingy again jump starter thingy jump starter thingy so technical I know I'm technical I am technical anything you'd like to say Kevin uh, yes lots and lots and lots but I don't think it can be put on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drag him into everything. Yeah, it's not like I've got anything better to do, is it? True. <laughs> True. True. So I'll wait till the bus gets back to his front. What? Then he's you didn't up. tell me you were doing that. <laughs> he actually said to me yesterday, I quite like the look of the front without a coach on it. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> oh, oh. Can you hear that? She's actually running.
I don't know why we're so excited. No, I don't either. <laughs> um, but we are. Are you going to tell what you're saying? Uh, yeah, everyone else is doing it, so it's something that has to be done. We need to name her. We need to name the coach. Yeah, she deserves a name. She deserves a proper name. So, uh, we've had a lot of thoughts about this, and we narrowed it down to two, and we're going to use both names, only one for the coach. We'll see the second one another time. So, without further Of Volvo. <laughs> um, so yeah, we decided to name the coach Olive after my nana. Uh, she passed away in 2016, um, and the reason we decided to call her after my nana is because she was one of my biggest supporters in my life. It didn't matter what I did, whether she thought it was absolutely crazy or something Which that I wouldn't, <laughs> or something that I wouldn't enjoy, she still supported me. Um, unfortunately, she passed away before we decided about the bus. Um, but I'm pretty sure she would have loved hearing all about it. So um, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Sort of. Back on with the build next. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like I said before, if you, um, if you did like this video, please give us a like and subscribe down. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.